Hello my dear children. I am your teacher from grade 4. Today we are going to learn the first part of the earth and sky lesson. What are we going to learn today? We are going to learn about differences in land, the nature of soil, observation of sky of a rainy day and a sunny day, uses of sunlight. Let's discuss these topics in detail. Differences in land. Is our earth flat and same everywhere? No, it is a globe and it consists of different landforms such as rivers, mountains, waterfalls, deserts, etc. So, to see these differences, we can conduct a small experiment using three simple activities such as rolling a ball, pulling a block of wood tied by a rope and pushing a block of wood by force on five land samples namely land with sand, land with gravel that means small stones, land with grass, cement flow and a tile flow. When you do this experiment you will notice that rolling a ball, pulling a block of wood and pushing a block of wood is hard on the land with sand and land with gravel. Further you will notice that the land with grass would be hard too but it is easier when compared to the land with sand and land with gravel. You will find it more easier to do all these actions on the cement flow and the tile flow. That is because these samples of land are different. Some consist of rough surfaces and some contains smooth surfaces. Here are some types of soil samples taken from different lands. Sandy soil. It is taken from a seashore and the color of the soil is light brown or yellow. The nature of the soil is sandy and you can see insects such as beetles and bugs etc. And you can see seashells too. Clay soil. Clay soil is taken from a paddy field. The color of the soil is dark brown or black and it consists of fertile soil and clay. You can see insects such as ants, bugs, grasshoppers, earthworms etc. And you can see some hay too. Loam soil. Loam soil is taken from school garden. The color of the soil is brown and this soil consists sand and gravel. You can see insects like ants, bugs and grasshoppers etc. And you could see some leaves too. Now we are going to observe what is inside these types of soil. Aren't you excited to see the components in these three types of soil? We are going to take three clear jam bottles, jars and fill about half of the bottle by putting a small amount of each of the soil samples. Fill the other half of the bottles with water. Close the lid and shake the bottle well. Keep the bottles aside for a few hours to settle and observe what happens. You will see the separate layers of gravel, sand, mud or silt, clay and some floating particles. You will see that soil from the seashore or sandy soil contains more sand, less silt and clay. And the soil from school garden, loam soil, contains more sand and silt and less clay. The soil from the paddy field or the clay soil contains less sand and silt but it has more clay in it. What can we see on a bright sunny day? We can see the sun shines brightly, birds and butterflies fly in the air and the sky is mostly cloudless and clear. The wind blows gently and it gives you a warm feeling. But on a gloomy rainy day, the sun is covered with clouds and no birds butterflies in the air. 
the sky is covered with dark clouds and the wind blows faster. So, which one do you prefer? Is it bright sunny day or the gloomy rainy day? Now, pause the video and take your personal whiteboard and write one use of sunlight that you know. Sun plays a major role in our day-to-day -day life. You could even say that we cannot live without the sun. The sunlight helps us to make wet substances such as grapes and fish to dry. The sun evaporates the water in the wet clothes we wash and dries them. The evaporation process of the sun helps to produce salt in saltans too. Not only for us, the sun also gives energy to plants and trees to produce fruits and vegetables. Sun is an essential factor for the process of photosynthesis, the process of producing fruits and vegetables. Sun helps us to see things. Without sun, we cannot see anything. So we learned about three types of soil, sandy soil, loam soil, clay soil and we discussed the differences between a rainy day and a bright sunny day and finally we discussed the uses of sunlight. So can you answer these questions? What does the sandy soil contain? What does the loam soil contain? What does the clay soil contain? What are the differences between a rainy day and a bright sunny day? What are the uses of sunlight? Thank you for listening. See you again in the second part of the lesson.